Hey guys, Clumsy here and welcome back to ATS 1.37 Beta. We are checking out some more new updates, some more mods that have been added since the last episode. And today we are going to explore a bit of the Great America 1.3 because in 1.3 version, Wyoming has been completed and I wanted to check out that road. So from Riverton to Cheyenne. Sorry for the pronunciation. It's going to be 297 miles. And I'll be talking about the different updates I've seen along the way. First and foremost though, W900 truck with the Packard MX-13 sounds from Robinicus. This is fresh, very new release from him. The newest release so far as the, of the time of this recording. Very refined sounds. Actually gave me goosebumps and we're not yet even at the closest part of the engine with 1.37 beta the farther you are from the truck the camera that is the weaker the engine sounds are so if you want to hear it at its maximum you should have it fully zoomed in like this or maybe better yet go open the windows fully and that's where we listen to the sounds because that will give us the loudest experience lovely. I am pairing this up with the Allison TC10 transmission. That should be part of the default truck. That's not a mod, but that is an automatic transmission, a real automatic transmission that has 10 gears. And the amazing thing about that is it shifts pretty well because I still hear a bit of the weird shifting sounds in the default uh, in the default sounds, in, if you have an Eaton Fuller transmission, for example, a manual, I still hear some of the weird shifting noises that get cut off suddenly. It's not natural. Looks like they haven't fixed that yet. So it looks like we'll have to be a bit more careful with that. So in the meantime, I'm picking this uh, Allison transmission served us very well in the previous episode with the Cat 3406 and now it's a very different combination now the, the engine sounds seem to be very loud don't they this is with the fully windows closed and can we just take a second to admire the view very nice modeling done there I love the combination of houses, trees mesas and all that stuff Yeah, we might have to lessen the engine sounds a bit because I do want to drive with a bit of open windows just so we can hear the other traffic as well. So what we can do is we can lower the engine sounds like that maybe. I, I put most of the stuff in the middle because every update SES is tweaking the levels. So I try to start in the middle every time and then just adjust as necessary. Okay, from there we can work with a bit of windows open. Hot core dogs, anyone? Okay, now we can hear the engine better. And you can hear it changing in revs. Also, I believe the Jake brake should also be changing in tone, in volume, depending on how high the revs are and things like that. If this is the effect, the proper F mod sound implementation. It's kind of hard to hear me now, though, isn't it?
Let's lower the windows just a bit. There, just a tad. That looks good to me. Man, that's very nice. Should have taken a photo there. So yes, as you guys might have noticed, not a lot of trucking videos recently. That is mainly because SCS has slowed down the updates a bit in line with the recent situation that the entire world is facing. Um, I've heard that SCS employees are working from home. They had to have alternate arrangements and that is slowing down the productivity a bit. But they can still work. That's a good thing about being in an IT company. You don't have to fully shut down and you can still work from home. And sometimes it's even more productive. In my case, that's very true. But yeah, the face-to-face -face, uh, collaboration is something that uh, has a huge benefit as well. So I think that's what they have to get used to. And of course, they have to keep safe just like everybody else. So keep safe, guys. I hope you are staying at home. Just watch more videos and uh, let the time pass. Don't worry about it too much. It will settle itself eventually yeah what is the recommended speed here 30 well we're way past that it's a bit scary though i think i will have to follow that because there is this huge sharp turn coming up ahead so i think i'll start slowing down and maybe let's hear that jake break in action very crisp of it. Rubinicus is working from starting from Krishbom's uh, default um, Krishbom sound files and then mixing them up in F mod. That's, a, that's how he does it. But I think at the same time, Krishbom is also working on his own updates for 1.37. So he's also working with F mod. I have no news on how that's going though. But I definitely will want to check it out and you guys for sure will be curious so stay tuned for that. But yeah, so you might have noticed not many updates in the in the SES, in the ETS, in the ETS2 department. I was expecting ETS2 to be in 1.37 beta already as of late last week but now it's almost the end of this week and still nothing. So it looks like... Um, it's probably slowing down because of the situation so we, let's all be patient and let's appreciate what SES is able to give out given the limited capacity and given all the uh, constraints that we have everybody has at the moment let's be thankful that we can even watch videos and that we can even uh, enjoy just subtle changes wow that is very loud. Super loud. <laughs> now that's a bit too loud for my taste. Because one of the updates, there was a recent update to the beta in ATS. And, and they said they uh, tweaked some of the volumes. They also improve the reverb, so you don't hear that excessive reverb anymore when you're out. It's still there, but it's not as extreme anymore. Which is good, because I remember some people commenting on the previous video, saying that it sounds good, but there is a lot of echo, a lot of reverb, reverb on the exterior, especially in the beginning of the video. The last silent trucking one, if I remember correctly. So yeah, I think... Uh, um, still some fine tuning needs to be done those uh, is that gravel soil or whatever sounds as we go through the tires uh, yeah it's a bit excessive I mean I could not even hear my jake brake as I was going through them I was hitting my jake brake I could not hear it at all because of how loud those are so I think we'll have to see how that works and I'm loving the scenery here full of forests and uh, bushes and it just looks so natural 
Great job by Void here. Awesome work, man. This is from a mod, guys. Great America 1.3. And as always, all these mods are in the mods list. Here, it's not too loud. But inside, when you close, even if you close your truck, it's still super loud. How much more if you open them? And I doubt that Void had anything to do with it. I don't think it's about the map. I think the map just chose, for example, uh, soil or uh, how do you say, this kind of uh, terrain. And then the F-Mod sounds will uh, kick in. It has corresponding sounds already. So I think it's SES needing to tune it. And you saw in my audio sa settings, I have most of the stuff in the middle at the moment. So yeah, I would expect if it's in the middle, then it should be adjusting properly. It should be very balanced if it's in the middle because that's the default option of the one. So yeah, I think uh, that still needs to be adjusted. They did say that they added ambient sounds since its last update. Uh, they were not clear on what exactly those ambient sounds are. Maybe the birds or I don't know. You, know, you, you guys let me know if you find anything, okay? They also changed the volume of the prefab sounds. I guess that's when you're like at the pickup point, like when you hear the workers, um, the, the uh, loads being uh, carried and whatever, all the work being done, and you hear all these noises. All this working ambiance, and I think that's uh, been adjusted. Maybe it's been lessened the volume because I don't hear them as much anymore, which is good because they were a bit too loud before, and I had to lower my environment volume to adjust it. They say they also changed the volume of horns versus air horns. I'm not sure how much we can check that out because I'm using a sound mod from Rubinicus, right? The MX Packard MX13. That's the normal horn. That's the air horn. No complaints there. They're both pretty loud. <laughs> and then they fixed the golf bugs. And that's about it. So not a huge update and when I tried manual transmission later as I mentioned it was still uh, cutting off the air shifting sounds were still cutting off and speaking of air shifting sounds man there has been a there has been a lot of discussion about that in the SES forums in the 1.37 beta thread I was trying to read it but it's too complicated for me so I could not really understand the details like, difference between automatic and automated transmission, a clutch pedal, a uh, torque converter, all these complexities are beyond me. So I let the experts talk amongst themselves and whatever is the, the uh, decision, then I will just follow and listen. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it, right? You don't know, you, need, you don't need to know everything. That's why we have, we are a community. We all he, he, each have our own specialty. And it's a skill to learn to trust others and uh, not try and uh, understand everything on your own. So I am trusting the others with that. <laughs> That's my justification. Did it work? Yeah, I guess it did. Kind of. I like this. Not a lot of road options here in Great America map, but. I mean, it's a simple straight road with lots of winds and uh, the level changes, but the entire scenery is very nice. I like it. There are a few slowdowns in the frame rate. You might have noticed that, but no big deal. I mean, I am using some advanced anti-aliasing tweaks, so my system is a bit uh, more sensitive to uh, non-fully optimized areas but yeah now it's fully optimized now we're seeing smooth frame rates I guess this is 60 I did lock my frame rate to 60 yeah that's 60 all throughout there with the GPU not bottoming out 
but but yes I've grown quite fond of the Alison transmission since the last stream because it's been a really nice combo especially with the cat 3406 now this one with the Packard engine is very nice it's very clean very high quality but I think in a matter of personal taste I am much more a fan of the cat 3406 still I really like the, the roughness of it but it's good to mix it up every now and then it's very airy this engine huh? you really hear the air passing through and all the technical stuff that are beyond me happening in the background something that might keep you guys uh, give you guys hope let's close the window here because I will babble on a bit more something that might give you hope I so when this update released every time a beta update is released um, someone posts in the forum thread SES forum thread I think it's Voita right now posting the exact updates not really exact but more detailed updates than what you would get outside like in the game updates in the steam uh, discussion or in the steam news in the forum thread there are more items the one i just read to you they improved outside reverbs the amb added ambient sounds those things and in the in the beginning it looks like there was an item there in his list pertaining to the Renault Renault T something or Renault something yeah, I can't remember the details but some of the very uh, keen-eyed forum members noticed that and they said oh wait a minute is the Renault coming to ATS and they were like whoa Renault in ATS or Renault and then I think uh, Voita adjusted his post edited his post and he said, oh, it was an ETS2 thing. Which makes sense, Renault being an ETS2. But what that meant for me is that seems like whatever they're doing in ATS right now, all the updates that they're doing, all the fixes, all the tweaks, they're also in parallel doing stuff in ETS2, which is a very great news. Maybe they just haven't released the beta publicly yet but they are probably working hard in the background and uh, progressing quite well with it too because it looks like they are updating both games in parallel because if there was a uh, change log pertaining to the Renault which is an ETS2 then that I guess it's safe to assume that there is work being done in ETS2 right? and uh, together they're being done together so that gives me hope even though the, the beta for ETS2 hasn't been publicly released to us yet that it is also undergoing all the feedback from ATS that they are getting so it's just a matter of time before that gets released to us I'm hoping it's this week but we with the situation right now we can't really tell it's a hard thing to know so hang tight we'll get there eventually in the meantime, enjoy what we have. You might notice though, no ETS2 videos in a long time. I don't know if it's been a month already or three weeks, but everything has been ATS, which is uh, you, uh, understandable, I guess, because I mean, I'm super excited about FMOD 1.37 and all the exciting stuff is happening in FMOD. The modders are either trying to make their mod work with 1.37 or sitting tight waiting for the official release before they do anything in 1.37 little bit of map mismatch in here that's no issue as long as there is no invisible wall we are good <clears throat> so yeah it's uh, an interesting conundrum we are at right now we are kind of in a stalemate at the moment there are updates not as fast as we would expect them though but yeah, we still have the game, we can still play, and uh, we have the internet, we can watch, so all good, all good. Now I know there have been 
has been huge effect on some of the folks some more than others because of the things that are going on so hang tight guys we'll get through this it's all for the better what the governments are doing so stay in there and if you are available if you're staying home and if you're available feel free to join us over at twitch when i stream every wednesdays and fridays 8 a.m singapore time that is tuesdays and thursdays 8 p.m u.s eastern time so it's a bit uh, of a different uh, time zone difference there and that's wednesday and friday i think 1 a.m 1 a.m for those in europe and 12 midnight for those in the uk so yeah that's uh, feel free to join there so we can hang out and we can try to you know uh, share the pain and uh, even though we need some sh social distancing we can still uh, virtually be together and hang out together so it's a very uh, amazing thing we have here technology imagine before if this happened in the olden days you would really be literally isolated now it's kind of there are limits but if you are in a how do you say uh, in a position that does not require you to if you are a bit well off or if you are in the sort of middle class range like you're not uh, awfully having difficulty surviving day to day then the impact might not be that much the silver lining is mother nature can take a breather i heard that the co2 emissions are in a very good place right now very low because uh, many of the plants have stopped working many of the most of the planes have not been traveling have not been going so lots of businesses affected lots of people and their work affected and the only silver lining i see is yes we can at least give mother earth a chance to breathe and recover as well let's open the windows again so I love hearing those click breaks that echoey echoey sound under the bridge is nice but I agree with other people I think we need to fade in and fade out that one because you, you hear the difference in sound immediately and it doesn't sound so natural let's go and try and hear it again okay here we go yeah suddenly changes like that i think it has to be smooth like when you press escape and the engine sounds just fade out it has to be something like that i think for the transition like this one Yes, it kind of got cut off actually for a microsecond before it switches to the more echoey sounds. So I think a bit more fine tuning, but it's headed the right direction definitely. Amazing progress by SES. Can you still remember the mess that we were in? in the beginning of the beta how bad the sounds were the default sounds were right now they're still not at the perfect place i don't think they will reach that actually did my engine just die no it didn't i forgot i was in automatic i was looking for the clutch but yeah now the sounds are much better we have modders like Rubinicus are making amazing F1 sounds for us and SES themselves are stepping it up and improving the engine sounds bit by bit so we are getting there guys hang tight stay tuned let's all be patient and let's all be more accommodating of each other like in these trying times we cannot expect everything to go as planned expect a lot of delays expect a lot of changes why did i enter here expect a lot of oh 
that one of mishaps. Dang it. Because there are a lot of changes. What did I do? Oh, my bad. Very, very bad. I think I've been playing too much farming. Although I do still drive a lot of trucks. I still drive a truck in farming sim. But I guess the physics are a bit different. Although I do the same in farming to be fair. Oh, it's a mess. But that is just an illustration that not everything will go as planned and we all have to adjust and... Oh my goodness. Please don't tell me this is the hard parking. Oh, it is, I think. We'll have to go there. Exactly. Case in point. We will encounter some challenges along the way. Some things that we not, did not foresee. Especially in these trying times. But together... We can make it work. Ablam. Mm. A bad feeling about this. It's not going to work, guys. It's not going to work. I think I'll need to go third person here. Because I did not anticipate this. Yeah, in that. The trailer in the, on the other side is a bit of a party pooper. Is this where we're parking really? No, actually it's there. I just missed it. Okay. Probably just missed it. Looks like it's on the left side where we're parking this time. Let's go and get a bit more of an angle here. But, uh, we're getting there. Anyone see where we should be parking? Don't see any mark. Oh yeah, it is indeed there. Crap. Okay, yes, it is. Alright, um, how should we do this, guys? I think we should make that turn. Not here. But over back there, where we have more space. And then we can make like an inverted U-turn kind of deal. That makes sense. Something like that. But yeah. I think the game just wants me to prove my point here. Perseverance amidst adversity. Words of wisdom from Clumsy. It's raining. Okay. Let's see. That looks promising. So we can make a U-turn here. And then reverse. And then make a, a reversed and inverted U-turn onto the parking slot something along those lines and we can open these windows fully so we can still see even if it is raining peek out like that although i just remembered yeah the stacks of the w900 aren't the most helpful when it comes to that point can hear the environment sounds. Okay, let's stay close to this side. Press 5 should give you a better angle from this side. Versus just peeking out. It helps a bit with the double 900 That's a tip from me. And yes, these particles are from Natural Lux. Which is still in closed beta for ATS, unfortunately. Kirill has gone a bit quiet, I think. I think he is very busy in real life. And as I mentioned, especially now, these times. 
expect a lot more delays to happen. I just force myself through, thank you. And then right our way through here. Okay, okay good. Let's make that turn, guys. Bit by bit. Oh, you can actually hear the thunder. Nice. Now I'm afraid I'll hit that side over there. Oh, it's a gap in the map. It's been a while since I parked with this one, but yeah, it always takes time. So it's going to be a parking video, looks like. The parking is probably going to be as long as the driving itself. Uh, it's not going to cut it. I have to adjust over here. Stay more on the right side. So we have a bit more allowance. means with this allowance on the left side we can turn sharper on the right like that supposedly it's a bit loud isn't it? the environment sounds still a bit loud I think it's not working I'm going to go through external view here guys need all the help I can get oh yeah we're gonna hit this side we are progressing, but still requiring a bit of adjustment. There you go. The openable windows are a huge help here. Because at least even if it's raining, you don't have that additional handicap of not being able to see your side mirrors. In which case, you really have to go external view. here right now I'm not seeing a thing I think I just hit something yeah just hit that side and we can go fully that way there we go yeah I'm scared yeah, can you just force it? Getting impatient. No, cannot force everything. Alright, how do we do this, guys? I'm gonna have to take the entire distance. And turn from here, sharper. Like that. Too bad we don't have wide mirrors here. Does that work? That's looking pretty good, yes. Okay, good. And then let's even it out bit by bit. Then we'll adjust as necessary. Stop, look out. And that's looking pretty good, yes. Great. Yeah, look at that. That looks perfect, actually. Wow. So just a bit of adjustment over on this side. Should be good to go, finally. Awesome. Well, we did it. Perseverance amidst adversity. We can do this, guys. Hang tight, everybody. All right. Well, thank you for persevering with that, <laughs> with me. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing fine. And yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments how you are. And let's have a dialogue about this. Yeah. And if you can, join me on stream so we can take that discussion further. We all could do with a bit more um, social uh, help. Not just social distancing, but social support, right? 
anyway thank you for watching guys hope you enjoyed that short quick uh, video catch you in the next one and hopefully crossing our fingers more updates soon on ATS side thanks for watching have a nice day and clumsy trucking everybody catch you in the next one bye bye